So usually November is a really, really good month for trucking, both assets and brokerage. But is this November the same or is it different? Well, I can honestly say that it is a complete disaster. November came along, we all thought the freight rates were gonna get better, but quite the opposite has happened. In today's video, let's go over some of the articles. Let's go over some of the layoffs and bankruptcies that have happened in the first two weeks of November. And we'll also take the last week of October to see how our industry is doing and what to expect for in the near future. So our first article we're going to open happened on Tuesday, November 7th. 40 year old Montana based trucking company and freight brokerage abruptly seizes operations. Meadow Lark Agency and its affiliate Meadow Lark Transport filed for bankruptcy liquidation late Monday. The company's headquarters in Billings, Montana filed for Chapter 7 protection in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the District of Montana. So according to its petition, Meadow Lark made $60 million in gross revenue in October 1st, 2022 through September 30th, 2023. The company posted $103 million in gross revenue in 2022 and $76 million in 2021, according to the filing. So nearly 120 X employees are owed about $800,000 while around 1,300 trucking companies are owed almost 2.7 million. So as these companies are going out of business or getting under chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, then what happens is that they are allowed to now not pay their invoices that they owe other carriers, or they're going to settle for 20 or 30 or 40 cents on the dollar. So remember the video that I did on bankruptcies and cash crunch, okay? So this is it. When companies like this go under, they owe other carriers and other companies a lot of money, all right? Now, if they go under chapter 11 bankruptcy protection or any bankruptcy protection, now all of a sudden they don't owe those companies any more money. They owe them cents on the dollar. So for example, in most cases, they probably get paid out 20 cents on the dollar or 25 cents on the dollar. And what that's exactly what those other carriers are gonna get paid for any invoices that are owed to them. So the next company we're gonna talk about is Twin Express Equipment, going on auction block after $19 million default. So what happened, they probably had a loan, they defaulted in the loan, now they forced them to go out of business or take their equipment into the auction. An online auction is slated for Tuesday to sell assets of a Minnesota-based Twin Express Inc., which had a reported 72 power units and 73 drivers after a trucking company defaulted in a $19 million loan. So in this auction, the online auction of more than 206 pieces of equipment, so that's trucks, trailers, and anything else that they had, also, 2023 Kenworth T680s, semi trucks, and another 37 Kenworths ranging from the years of 2020 to 2022. So, you want to steal for a truck, you want a really, really good price, this is the kind of trucks that you should be going after. Next article, even more bad news. November 4th, Pennsylvania brokerage lays off 65 employees, sources say. So, a brokerage company lays off 65 employees. Why? Because obviously, we are all feeling it. So I know that ET Transport, for example, and other brokerages companies out there and other asset based, we are down probably around between 25 and I hear some companies are down 40% from this time last year. So if your gross sales are down, so obviously layoffs start happening, which is what happened to this company over here. Now, if you haven't seen my video on why brokerages are going extinct, make sure you watch this video because you're going to love it. It explains why brokerage services are slowly, slowly starting, starting to die out. And we see it in these articles and all the bankruptcies and all the closures. All right, the next article, Friday, October 27th, Texas freight brokerage to shut down. Again, same story here after 26 years in the transportation industry. With the past 12 years at the helm of logistics company, he founded a boost strapped in 2000. Dennis Martin says he is winding down his operations. In an exclusive interview, Martin, CEO of Cell Supply Chain Solutions of Fort Worth, Texas, said his year started off with a $700,000 load of video, of video poker machines being stolen in Las Vegas, and everything went downhill from there. Again, brokerages are seeing even a bigger decline, probably gross sales 40 to 50% lower than this time last year. All right, well, this takes us to October 19th. So a third generation family owned trucking company and brokerage certified freight logistics headquarters in Santa Maria, California is seizing operations on Saturday after 95 years. Scott Kramer, president of certified freight logistics said he notified employees on August 22nd that the trucking company and freight brokerage which employs 157 workers, including 101 line haul and local drivers, would be laid off on Saturday with the wind down of the company concluding on the November 18th. 
Okay, horrific news, horrific. And then we'll take you back to October 13th where Flexport lays off 600 workers amid difficult freight market. What has November brought to us in the last week of October? Non-stop bad news about brokerages, about carriers, going out of business, shutting down. Now these are the bigger companies that we're hearing about. These are the companies that are actually, there's articles about them. There are hundreds, okay, of companies, smaller companies, you know, 10 power units, 20 power units that are closing down that are not, I mean, there is no access to the information on why they're closing down. Um, there are a lot of MCs that are being terminated. There's a lot of insurance policies that are being canceled right now. There's a ton. I mean, I talked to the freight factoring companies and they're down about 40% in their numbers. I talked to dispatch services and they're down also 40%. Brokerage companies also 30, 40%. Asset-based carriers probably down about 25 to 30%. What are we to expect? So I truly believe that January and February are going to be horrific, horrific months. Okay, but for those that can survive and for those that can grind in these days here, you guys are going to be extremely profitable come March, April, May, June of next year. So I truly believe we have to wait until March and April of next year to see things going up. Now, if I am looking, okay, at the national average for loads, it's currently sitting at national average for the Van Reefer division is sitting at $2.00 and seven cents per mile. I truly believe that number is gonna go down just a little bit more. It might stay the same in November because we usually see an uptick in volume of loads in November, but I truly believe that, you know, December, January, February are going to be horrible, horrible months that we have not seen yet before. And hopefully after that, it's gonna start climbing up. Well, hopefully you learned something from this video. These closures are affecting everybody. Okay, how are they affecting everybody? Because any one of these companies are going under. They have a ton of payables. Those payables are not going to get paid. So carriers like myself and other carriers are going to be hurting. Why? Because we are not getting paid. And if we're not getting paid, then we are going to be in a cash crunch. So hopefully you learned something from this video. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next video. Paid, then we are going to be in a cash crunch. So hopefully you learned something from this video. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next video.